<sighs> all right. Looks like everybody is growing well in this tank. Hopefully, hopefully all of these squirrel-faced little butterfly fish will be able to pull in enough ecology points that soon, soon, my friends, we will have the, um, oh gosh, what is, what is it called again? Hang in there. The schooling banner fish. I knew I would finally remember its name sometime soon. But hello, everyone, and welcome back to the private collection aquarium, where we have been hired to help out discover all sorts of fantastic corals, take care of tons of fish, unlock a whole bunch of new machinery, and basically build the private aquarium of some very rich collector's dreams. Uh, so far, we seem to be doing pretty good, and right now we're actually waiting to be able to unlock the banner fish so that we can add it into a forging for toadstools challenge so that we'll be able to get some leather coral. Woo! So exciting! All right, and I think we also need to complete another quest that we have been given to gather the porcupine puffer fish so that we will be able to get as many daisy star polyps as we could possibly dream of. So let's go ahead and see what it would take to make that porcupine puffer fish very happy. All right, where are you, little one? <gasps> there you are! Okay, it cannot be housed with a bully. It will eat crustaceans. It looks freaking adorable. Um, and I, it wants to eat cockles. I think I could probably put the porcupine puffer fish. Hmm. Where do I have room? That is the question. Okay, there's actually a lot of room over here for more fish. Can I add the porcupine puffer fish in here? It's armored. Are you going to be safe in there, little dude? We're going to need an even more powerful filter, but I was thinking about upgrading filters soon anyway, so that shouldn't be too huge a deal because we do have access to the brand new power pump, which will be able to reach an even further radius, which is so freaking cool. So we can take care of even more of the animals. Uh, and this pump reaches in like a, a six square radius, which means if I turn it like this, it can still reach this tank. And then if I take this pump, yeah, I can still reach it. <gasps> yes, we have the banner fish now, you guys. Let's start putting in a little bit of effort behind the blue tubular sponge. And we'll add in the banner fish in just a second. And we got the power lights. Boom. All right, let's get the large protein skimmer ready because that protein skimmer actually helps out with taking care of good care of corals. Uh, so we definitely want to make sure we do that. And let me put in another large filter back here to take care of this tank. And I think we might need maybe another green food back here. And maybe another orange food too, just to make sure that we have enough pellets for everybody. No, it looks like that one's good. But let's get some green pellets. There we go. Oh. And oh, our new zebra mate, oh my, it has just grown. That's fantastic. All right, we have a lot going on all over the place here. Oh dear, these things need repaired. But once they're repaired, I think, okay, now that it has grown, we actually need even more filtration. That's fine, I can add, thing, it's so big, I can add multiple filters back here. Uh, but that reminds me, it is time to name this beautiful moray eel and to start naming more of these fish fish after some of you guys. So I would like you guys to all meet our beautiful zebra moray eel phoenix, which is such a cool name. There we go. And phoenix, I love the idea of adding in the reindeer back to our planet zoo ice ice outpost episodes. Fingers crossed we'll be able to do that pretty soon. And let's see. So now I need the six schooling banner fish in order to complete that quest. And that means we're going to need somewhere to move our squirrel face fox fish. So I think we're going to go ahead. Let's do. I think I'm going to make like a big tank back here. That actually sounds really cool. And we're going to move this over here. Yeah, we're going to just widen up this whole area. And then let me make another cool observation tank, like right over here. And if I put it here, I wonder, come on. Okay, hang on. Why can I only make it like this big when I could make that one so much? Oh, wait, 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 this is, that, that's because it would be a really small one. 
No, no, I want a deep observation tank, like this. Wow, I can make these huge. I didn't realize how big you could make them. All right, we're gonna make this one really big. And I'm actually gonna scooch it over one because I just realized I need space for all the filters. All right, and we are gonna make it so that guests can like come over here. I might have a little secret filter room in the corner next to some toilets so that people can use the restroom. All right, let's put this big old tank over here. And let's add in a staff door over on this side, like so, so that the staff can get back and forth to take good care of the animals a little easier. There we go. And then we're going to come over to this big old tank. And I think we'll actually move the moray eel uh, phoenix, the moray eel, over to this tank and put in the schooling banner fish with him. So yeah, it requires a tank with at least 30 depth. And I think that this tank has that tank depth of two. Is it, I don't, I don't think it's depth. I think it's like 30 capacity is what that means. Maybe. Okay, hopefully fingers crossed that's what that means. <laughs> Yeah, I think it means with at least 30 room for fish and they need to be at least six plus fish because they are schooling and they like to be together. They're also plant lovers and they require at least a couple plants. So we need to have at least a few different types of plants in here. Here's one plant, two plants. Uh, we're going to put down the eel grass, I think, because I really like the eel grass. And originally the tank that the fox face squirrel fish are in was going to be the tank that I put in the banner fish, but it's probably just easier to go ahead and build a new one because those fox face squirrel fish are doing a very, very good job of being able to attract, let's put this back here and this right there, of being able to attract a lot of the ecology points we want. So, all right, uh, let's add the filters now to make sure that these guys will be taken care of. I should probably put in, we'll put one filter there and then one large heater right here. And I don't think that's gonna be enough, so we'll add in a pump in just a minute here. But let's try putting in the schooling banner fish now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom! Three different plants, yes! And we have just unlocked the blue tubular sponge at this exact moment. Let's go for that coral beauty. Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna be a powerful enough filter set. We need more filters. We need to increase the filtration! So we're gonna make a whole section over here just for pumps. That's like more than half of what an aquarium is. It just boggles my mind and makes me so amazed by the natural world that just has this down without needing to worry about like, oh my gosh, you gotta install like 800 million pumps. That's The whole system is set up to already take care of those things. Yes, large protein skimmer, skimmer. Let's get that Belfast tank up and going. Boom, boom. Let's move over the moray eel, Phoenix. As soon as we get... Here, we'll move Phoenix here. Boom. Yay! The display looks fantastic. As promised, here are the toadstool leather corals. All right, we'll have, we only have two of them, so we're gonna have to take good care of them and figure out what they need. And we need to give Phoenix a little, a little driftwood cave. All right. Oh, they're so pretty, you guys. Look at all the stripes. This person definitely had a vision and I'm really glad that they gave that vision to us to take care of. Let's actually put in um, some decorations too. I wanna put down, oh, we have little nuts now. Oh my word! I don't want the fish to get caught in them, but I bet they're just like safely decorative, of course. We have a little palm tree! <gasps> I love this! Oh my gosh! I love that! I can start decorating with palm trees! Come on, that's amazing. I absolutely love that. And then we can come down with the tropical beach paint. Look at this! Come on! And I can even put down like a couple shells. Like she sells seashells by the seashore going on right here, friends. I love it, absolutely love it. Uh, all right, so that took care of that challenge. And now we need to 
uh, manage to get the blue tubular sponges going on and the daisy star polyps. Uh, okay, so all of those things need to go into the same tank. So we're going to go ahead and make a big old tank over here. I've really started to fall in love with this place and I need to not do that because I'm sure as soon as we complete this, we will win and the rich owner will be like, and now you move on. And perhaps that's just the way things need to be so that we can go forth into the world, friends, and we will be able to find uh, like some sort of really cool setup with oh, sharks. There's there's anacondas, there's manatees and other creatures out there to discover. Oh, but I'm gonna miss these guys. All right, we could wait for the Belfast tank, which I kind of want to do. Tank depth of three. It has a big capacity. Did somebody grow up? The porcupine pufferfish grew up, woo! Um, I kind of really want that tank. But at the same time, why is my prestige going like up and down? Up and down, up and down, up and down. I just want to be prestigious. It's really going down. <laughs> is it like money? Do I need to worry about it like money? All right, what happens? I guess, do people grow tired of the same fish after a while? Here, let's fast forward for just a minute and see what happens. Oh, and maybe it's because they need to use the restroom. All right, let's build them some toilets. Might as well use our last few moments here. Yay, coral beauty. Let's get the fuzzy dwarf lionfish researched. I don't know if we carry the things we research into like the next zone. Uh, okay, that actually, you can't just make pretty walls there. Noted. Uh, and then let's come over. Let's add a couple benches so people can relax if they wanna watch the beautiful fish before we get the Belfast tanks added on in. And then let's put down some, you know, just some nice drink machines so people can come over. They can they can get something if they need something. I'm sure that eventually we'll be able to provide people with like a place to, to eat, more places to rest. There we go. Yay, and we have unlocked the Belfast tank. There we are. All right, so let's try getting this Belfast tank. It's a large tank. And we're probably gonna need a spot for like, wow, this is a huge tank. Come on, let's use this rich guy's money while we still can. <laughs> and we're gonna make a big old tank and see what, what happens. All right, can I make this? Oh my word. <gasps> you can make that tank huge. Okay, okay. Boom. $2,000. We can afford it. It's not our money. All right. Okay, the st we needed two stairs to be able to get to the bottom of that because this is so big. That's amazing. All right, there we go. We can have 225 fish fish in here if we wanted. We're gonna try to make this into the most blissful, amazing coral zone ever. Let's block this off. And this is now gonna be like staff only section right over here. Dude, I said staff only, Olwyn. Unless you want to start working here and scrubbing tanks, keep an eye, an eye on that algae, then scooch it. Uh, and let's put in, let's just go like whole hog. Yay, we got the lionfish. Not sure if we're gonna have a time to like to work with any of those guys, but it's just really nice to know that they're there. And we can make a fairly tidy setup back here to do like protein skimmer, large filter. Uh, let's do large heater. Like all of it is connected to this right over here. Hey, where's my heater? Large heater, you know, connected to this guy. Yeah, this one's connected, this one's connected. Pretty sure, let me double check. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, you can add multiple tanks? <gasps> That's so cool with the big old pumps. Okay. So now that we have those, let's put on the lights because we need the power lights for these guys. Invalid placement location? Pardon? What do you mean invalid placement location? Are you telling me I can only put them on stuff like this? What? What? I made this vast, beautiful thing. Oh, 
Uh, all right. Here, can I select like multiple fish at once? Or do I have to just like, I think I can select multiple fish at once. Or I can just come in and be like, you, like you here. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it's, it's not hot enough. It's not hot enough because the tank is so big. I didn't think about that. Okay, there we go. Now it's warm enough. I totally didn't think about that, but you would have to worry about there being enough warmth for these guys. Here we go. I guess I can put in a whole bunch of different fish that we can admire at some point. But for now, I'm going to have to put the corals in a different tank. All right, let's come on over here. We have the power lights. I'm going to need to put in a new protein skimmer. Let's move this one that I put down over. We can make a gigantic mess out of this place because <laughs> we're going to be we're going to be moving soon. All right. So we have the power light. We need the blue sponge. Where did my beautiful blue sponge go? All right. There it is. And we need four of them. So let's put one up front and center like this. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Those are beautiful. And then we need two daisy star polyps. So let's add those corals in here now. Oh, I don't have those yet. Oh, that's right. Okay, we'll check that out in just a second. And two toadstool corals. They need zooplankton. They need these nice, powerful lights. Oh, look at how pretty they are. I love it. And now we need those daisy star polyps. And I have the puffer fish. Uh, an important, I have. if you supply me with one, how do I pick up correct object and click here? Oh, I, we need to come over and get our puffer fish to trade him. Come here, friend. Boom. Thank you very much. Look how cute he is. You'll find the daisy star polyps in the livestock section. Yay. Okay. We're about to do this. We're about to have the very last corals that we need. So if that's the case, I'm going to line up a whole wall of kelp right back here. And we're going to admire the mess that we have made of this aquarium learned a lot about how we need to organize things uh, while being here. Definitely a lot of lessons. I'm pretty excited about that though. Boom. Uh, definitely a ton of lessons. It wasn't perfect. It was majorly messy, but I had a great time. All right. And the daisy star polyps. Get on in here, little ones. Woo! All right, we did it! You've managed to build a collector's dream aquarium, almost from scratch, mostly with the profits generated from the aquarium itself. Oh my gosh, we went through like $10,000 and I didn't even notice. You should be very proud. With such a high profile client under your belt, you've attracted the attention of the historical aquarium of Valberg. You can continue to build here in Elmshorn if you want, but we're actually ready to take the chilly day in Valberg. So we did it, you guys! All right, so now we need to go ahead and we're going to start working next time on restoring this historic aquarium to its prestige. So this historic aquarium has been in decline for years. It needs a new curator willing to shake things up. Are you ready for the challenge? Part of the problem is that the weather is just so cold in Valberg that none of the heaters work at full capacity, just 66% to be exact. See if you can turn the cold temperatures to your advantage with this new piece of equipment, the chiller. Chillers are used to keep tanks at cold water temperatures, allowing us to keep cold water animals like this cuckoo rassi. It gets better here in Valberg. Uh, there are 50% uh, more effective. They are 50% more effective than normal. Oh, the chillers are. In other words, you can chill bigger tanks with less chillers. Your mission is to exploit cold water displays to get this aquarium back in the limelight. Dun dun dun. <gasps> Starfish. You guys, we're going to study that Rassi, but I swear to you, the starfish are next. Uh, and we are definitely going to go ahead. Ooh, padded benches. Nice. I want that power pump, though. I know where the action's at. It's making sure we've got the pump in action going. Also, hello, little ones. 
Hello, who are you? All right, guys, we have got a big fancy new tank to take care of. It looks like there are several wonderful new fish fish that we'll be watching over. And hopefully we will be able to really shake things up by adding in a little dash of my watery designs. Probably tons of plants. There's about to be a lot of plants over here. <laughs> and taking good care of all of the, the little ones here while managing to research new species of the world. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful little aquatic world. Look at those little plop plops. Look at them plop plopping. I really like corals. I didn't realize how much I like corals until we started doing this. And now I really, really, really realize I like corals a lot. Ah, do please leave a like for our corals, and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, oh, they're plop plopping! Stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye